Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to make a basic 8 channel relay board that can be used with any microcontroller. We can start by examining the data sheet of the relay we are going to use for this design. The relay is a non-latching Songil SRD series rated for 5 volts at almost 72 milliamps of coil current. The contacts are a single pole double throw form C that are rated at 10 amps with voltages up to 240 volts AC and at 28 volts DC. There are other specifications listed in this data sheet that are beyond the scope of this tutorial and will not be covered. We begin by creating a project in Eagle and thereby creating a new schematic and naming it Basic 8 Channel Relay Board. After the schematic has been created, we can start to add the components to the design. I specifically created a library that will yield a board with mounting holes measuring 100 mm by 100 mm. These dimensions are the maximum size the boards can be and still cost just $13 for a set of 10 boards from PCBWay in China. Now we add a frame to enclose the schematic and at the same time, add a schematic, PCB and assembly number. Then we add the power rails along with the relay, a resistor, a diode, one LED, a transistor, a capacitor, the relay connector and the single inline plastic female header. Once this has been added, then we can arrange the components on the board and make our connections. To speed up the process, we will close the board editor and copy and paste the relay circuit 8 times. Then we will reopen the board editor and close the schematic editor and copy and paste the component layout 8 times. we will have to rename and make new connections to match the schematic. This process might seem counterintuitive but it is quicker to renew and rename connections than laying out the same circuit 8 times.
now that our board and schematic are consistent with one another, we can start to add levels and manually route the board. We can begin by doing the simple short traces and the positive rail. Sometimes trial and error is needed to get the layout to come out right. I had to rip up the signal traces a few times to make it all work and give it a clean and neat look. By giving the signal traces 245 degree angles instead of 190 degree angle, we can give the board a professional look and feel. Last but not least, 
we adjust the text on the silk screen layer and generate the Gerber files for manufacturing. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make a basic 8 channel relay board. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.